It's not easy for somebody like me who appreciates technology to say that I've become suspicious of the ability of millions of cars, such as the Google car or the Chinese driverless car, to drive themselves. I say it's not easy because on one hand I can clearly see the lives it could save. On the other hand, I see technology as a tool, not God. I'm Michelle Rahal with The Drive Channel and TheDriveChannel.com. If you like what we do, favorite us, comment, and trust me when I say we do comment back, human interaction can't be replaced. The news that a Google driverless car had an accident rifled through the auto and technology news like wildfire last week. Well, that isn't a surprise. News like that should be reported and discussed. According to Google, it was the human driver who made the error when the car was in manual mode. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, but I do have an inherent distrust of large technology corporations or governments being relied upon to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help them God or the board, whatever they believe in. I truly like what Google has done with the technology. As an exercise, it is very, very valuable. In practicality, who knows what the hell it really means. The legality issues are already cropping up. The artificial intelligence conspiracy theorists are already in full swing. What is true is this didn't start with Google or with a benevolent group of Chinese Communist Party officials out to save the youth of the world. It started with the military, both the United States and China. China's program is funded by their military and that alone should cause us to step back a little bit. I can't deal with the technology of an automobile taking over if another car is too close or if you're speeding. I especially hate the idea of insurance companies tracking you and your driving habits. Sorry if that sounds like I've seen the Terminator too many times, but I want to control the car, not it control me. The Chinese version of this car doesn't use GPS. It's self-contained with artificial sight and sensors within the car. Do you really think the Chinese want to save millions of lives with their car? Try to Facebook somebody in China. It's banned. The military applications of this technology are far down the road. The driverless automobile was a public experiment that DARPA, a U.S. skunk works arm, threw out as a contest. They saw what they needed. How many lives could be saved? Millions. Particularly those who steer cars, not drive them, and that's most of you. Or those that have an affirmity. There is a difference. It's exciting technology, but it's got the potential to affect the world as much as a nuclear bomb. and We all know how that's turned out. I'm Michelle Rahal with The Drive Channel and TheDriveChannel.com. I hope this sets off a firestorm.